Yorkipu has been popular for the last decade, making it a fairly new hybrid. Many genetic disorders affect the Yorkshire Terrier and the toy or miniature poodle. Both breeds also don't have a hypoallergenic coat, so the Yorkipu was first created to try and breed out these issues. While the Yorkipu is now a popular breed of dog, it is still a hybrid and as such, crossing the poodle with a Yorkshire Terrier has been mixed results. Not all Yorkipus are born with the desired traits. Many breeders have turned to multi-generational crossing, breeding a Yorkipu with another Yorkipu to try and produce these sought-after attributes instead. History and Origin Like many of the designer crossbreeds, the Yorkipu originated in the United States in a quest to find a small companion dog that didn't shed and that would fit into any family's lifestyle no matter how small their home and garden. Understanding more about the origin of the breed requires an understanding of the two breeds that go into the formation of the Yorkipu. Yorkshire Terrier The origin of this breed isn't clear, but it is sometimes tracked down to the 1850s when Scottish weavers brought a small terrier with them to Yorkshire and Lancashire. These broken-haired Scotch Terriers, interbred with local small terriers to provide a northern, rather working dog who quickly become popular as a very effective factory and mining vermin killer. While the breed was a working ratter, the Yorkshire Terrier soon became popular with wealthy ladies as a companion and this popularity led to selective breeding to make them even smaller. Interestingly, while the dog got smaller, their coat length stayed virtually the same, hence the long coats that can still be seen on show dogs. Poodle The original poodle is the standard poodle, a water-retrieving dog. Owners wanting to make sure their dogs didn't get water lodged gave these dogs their unusual haircuts. The miniature and toy poodles were created purely as smaller versions of the original poodle. For owners who didn't want such a large dog but enjoyed this breed's personality, these smaller poodles quickly became popular and many found work in circuses thanks to their ability to learn new tricks. Physical Characteristics The Yorkipu comes in many colors, including black, white, cream, red, apricot, gray, silver, sable, tan, and chocolate. Its coat can also boast a mixture of colors and markings that makes each one unique. Its coat is low shedding and is easy to care for. It's considered hypoallergenic too, which is perfect for allergy sufferers. Its coat is wavy and tends to feel silky and soft, but it requires regular maintenance to keep it healthy. Yorkipoos are also tiny, which is what makes them so popular with dog owners looking for a toy breed. They have cute, floppy ears and adorable puppy dog eyes that make them an attractive choice for dog owners wanting a small breed of pup. Size The Yorkipu is a small breed that ranges from 7 to 15 inches in height and around 3 to 14 pounds in weight. Larger Yorkipus generally take after the poodle parent. Smaller dogs take after the toy or miniature Yorkshire Terrier parent. Age Washington Yorkie Poo's lifespan ranges from 10 to 15 years. This will depend on a range of factors, from the health of its parents to its lifestyle. Its lifespan will increase with excellent care, a high-quality diet, regular grooming and exercise, and general companionship. Temper and Personality The well-bred Yorkie Poo is likely to be an active and mischievous dog with a sense of humor. He won't do well living in the backyard, no dog does, and if he's left to his own devices, he will probably become noisy and destructive. Yorkipus can be barkers, so consider whether your living situation allows for a certain amount of barking before bringing a Yorkipu into your family and gently nip any sign of nuisance barking in the bud. The Yorkipu is full of energy. 
Despite its size, it's an active, fun-loving dog who loves being in the company of its owners. The Yorkie Poo is also loyal and a companion dog. It doesn't like being on its own for extended periods because it can get lonely. It is also affectionate and loving. It enjoys family activities and will join in with the fun wherever it can. However, because of its terrier heritage, the Yorkie Poo can be overly confident. This can be a problem when it meets larger dogs as it forgets its size and will often go for its new friend. Keeping your dog on a lead around other canines is advisable. Yorkie Poos are prone to barking at every sound or stimulus. This will need to be addressed at the puppy stage with consistent training to prevent this from becoming a problem. The Yorkie Poo is less demanding than other smaller breeds though. It's generally an easygoing dog who enjoys watching the world go by. However, Yorkie Poos may have a strong hunting instinct. Yorkshire Terriers were bred to catch rats and clothing mills in mines. Poodles also have strong hunting instincts, which means your pet might inherit them too. Grooming Yorkie Poos usually have a slightly scruffy coat, although it can also, like the poodle's coat, be curly. A Yorkie Poos grooming needs will vary depending on his coat. But all Yorkie Poos need regular, even daily brushing. Those with a curlier poodle coat require grooming every four to six weeks. Some owners learn to use the clippers and do the job themselves, but most rely on professional groomers. Either way, it's essential to take proper care of the coat because without regular grooming, it will quickly become a matted mess that can cause painful skin infections at the roots of the hair. Your Yorkie Poo's ears need to be kept clean and dry to help minimize wax, so clean them regularly with an ear cleaning solution recommended by your veterinarian. The rest is basic care. Hypoallergenic the Yorkie Poo's small size and hypoallergenic fur makes it a prime choice for those that love dogs but suffer from allergies. It was specifically designed for two reasons, to give people with the sniffles a break and to create a health-hardy companion dog. This came about due to the reputation of small-sized purebred dogs facing numerous health issues from poor breeding, including the Yorkshire Terrier and the Poodle. And so, the Yorkie Poo was born with a promising gene pool that would take the reputation of the toy breed to a new and improved level. To get a better idea of what the Yorkie Poo has to offer, let's meet the parents for a quick breed background check. This dog is generally much healthier due to being crossbred. However, you must check with reputable breeders before buying one as overbreeding tends to cause illness. Health issue. Like smaller dogs, the Yorkie Poo could develop leg calf perthes disease, which is a hip joint deformity common among smaller breeds. And if a dog develops this, it can be corrected with surgery. Like the poodle, the Yorkie Poo can also experience hip dysplasia. You will always want to ask the breeder about the health of their dogs just to make sure there are no unknown surprises about their health. Training. The Yorkie Poo can be tough mixed breed to train as it doesn't do a very good job at listening. You will need to assert your dominance to get any time of training done with this mixed breed. Start with easy things like potty training as a puppy and eventually you can work yourself up to do more training exercises such as tricks and commands. Remember to always use positive reinforcement and treats to show your dog when they listened to training and did something correctly. If you start training your dog as a puppy with proper socialization, you will have a well-tempered, friendly dog. If you're considering any of these breeds, don't forget to check your local shelter and consider rescuing your new furry family member. Check out this playlist for more details on popular pet breeds. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notices so you don't miss more videos about our preferred animal pooches and far more. See you in the next video.